Dear everyone, we are a team from Renmin University of China. I'm great honored to give a presentation on behalf of our team in today's symposium. And another team member, uh, Lulu, will help me in the next Q&A link. The theme of our report today is digital storytelling and knowledge service of academic uh, celebrities' uh, characteristic resources from the perspective of digital humanities. Okay, uh, the celebrities' resources are an important kind of special collection and precious uh, historical materials. The digital storytelling and knowledge service of relevant resources can better promote academic uh, exchange and knowledge production. So how the digital humanities perspective brings inspiration to the resource construction is an issue that needs to be considered. Uh, we study it through three stages and take the celebrity resources of Mr. Wu Baokan, a famous Chinese archivist, as an example to build a knowledge service platform. The resources come from our college and Nanxun archives. Nanxun is Mr. Uh, Wu's hometown. Resources include more than 100 photos, dozens of academic papers, uh, monographs, the book, Wu Baokan Academic Yearbook, and the documentary, He is a Mountain, the pioneer of archival educational in New China. Through the processing of these, of these resources, the knowledge graph uh, shown on this slide is finally formed, which totally have the uh, instances more than 2,000. The first stage is the change of celebrities resources in the digital age. The application of image recognition and NLP technology based on deep learning can identify and extract the knowledge elements in resources. The, co the computer automatically obtains some knowledge uh, elements from the original resource like this picture. And then, the second stage is how to organize these knowledge elements to form a meaningful narrative. We use the concept of ontology to define a model. For example, we think that people, places, events, organizations, time nodes are important knowledge elements. Uh, uh, important knowledge elements. So we define several object classes and establish the relationship between these classes. Those knowledge elements that extracted from text, images, and other multimedia materials are incorporated into different classes through feature matching. And then the association relationships between knowledge elements are established according to the ontology model. Finally, the third stage is what presentation ways of digital, of digital storytelling are. SNA and GIS are all common technical methods of digital humanities. Combine these tech, uh, technologies, the analysis and uh, service of celebrities' resources can be carried out from the dimensions of history, geography and uh, social network maybe. For example, this picture shows Mr. Wu Baokan's life story under the time perspective. According to the user's choice, Mr. Wu's life story can also be presented by waterfall flow or dynamic photo album like this. It can slide. Okay, in general, through the process of discovering, recognizing, and storytelling, uh, raw data became structural knowledge elements. The linear arrangement of single perspective becomes the knowledge graph of uh, multiple perspective. And the simple display becomes interactive narr narration. It may be difficult for me to give a detailed introduction of our research in five minutes. So if you have further questions, we can communicate later. Uh, uh, this is the main contents of our, our presentation today. Thank you for your time.